Thank you. Welcome to the show. Welcome to Newcastle. This is where we're based at the moment and a uh, fantastic crowd. And of course, they love everything here. They applaud, obviously, their own heroes and people who come here. So, uh, people like Chris Rea. Yeah. Newcastle, Chris Rea. And uh, Sting from Newcastle. Yeah. Kevin Keegan. Yeah. Vince Henderson. Yeah. I think it's time to meet the contestants. Let's go meet them now. <laughs> Barry, nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you, Vince. How are you doing? You okay? Right. You're looking yeah. cool and trendy and nice. <laughs> what about you, Barry? Where are you from? What do you uh, do? Uh, well, I live in a little village called Kirstandall, which is near Doncaster. Yorkshire? Yeah, yeah Yorkshire. Yorkshire man. Uh, and I work in the same village. I work for Pilkerton Glass Products, where I'm employed as a training instructor coordinator. And what do you do for hobbies? Uh, hobbies? Not, uh, well, I've just... I, I've not many hobbies. I read, listen to music, but I've just been doing a quiz for a local pub. Oh, what, organising it or being no, in it? No, doing or? it. I thought it would be a, an easy thing to do. But I, I used to present it on a Monday night, start it on a Tuesday night, finish it on a Sunday night. Because it takes, I don't know if you know this, it takes a lot of effort to it, do, like, even it, it the same It takes ages. Yeah, takes I mean, ages. it's very hard, like, getting our production team out of the pub is just, like, almost <laughs> impossible. <laughs> so, obviously, you're good at the game, so you should be oh, okay today. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Well, best okay. luck. Ladies and gentlemen, Barry. <laughs> Nikki. Oh. You're looking, oh, very nice. And what colour is that? It's a sort of mixture, isn't it? It's a mixture of browns. Mixture of things. <laughs> and uh, what about you? What do you do for a living? I actually work in an accounts department now uh, called Apex, which is like national distribution of parcels. And what do you do when you're not doing that, when you're in your spare time? I look after my little three-year-old boy, and what we do is make chess sets out of plaster of Paris, make them up, glaze them, so they like the ornaments. That you can buy the big size ones. Oh, the big, and then the big, yeah. And then, yeah, and then you sell them, or sometimes it depends whether somebody actually wants them. Once we've finished a particular set, if somebody actually, like, oh, will you sell that to me? Yeah, I'll sell so because that must be quite intricate because you obviously very, very doing intricate. It. And you, obviously, your eyes must get strained by doing that. I, I keep having breaks off it, actually. I sort of do it as and when I can. You can, you can see our, our monitors and our boards coming up there. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Should be an interesting game, shouldn't it? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Nikki. Thank you. And Matt, now you don't work, do you? No, I'm just a student. Because <laughs> you're a student. Yeah, absolutely a student. And what are you studying? Accountancy. Oh, same, same thing, accountancy. Pretty much so. Well, I mean, I hope you enjoy yourself today before you start doing accountancy. <laughs> um, <laughs> why, did you, why did you choose that subject? Well, my dad's an accountant, so I want to tread in his footsteps and move on. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> no, because they obviously, because I've got an accountant, they're very good people, aren't they? They tell you how, how little money you've got, and then they give you a bill. So, And uh, when you're not doing that, when you're not studying, what do you do? I'm a basketball player. I play for the uni. Oh, really? Because how tall are you? You're not? Just six foot. Just uh, six small. foot. I'm the one who dribbles and shows off. Okay, and, and also, would you go out, hang out? and go a, few, yeah, a few clubs and pubs around the place, yeah, in Southampton. And I was told by one of our researchers that you're a big fan of the Queen, because I must say straight away that I am, I think, you know, the corgis and stuff and the hat. I think she's very, very sweet. No, bigger it? teeth, uh, the Freddie Mercury version <laughs> of Queen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's who I meant. Um, <laughs> are you a big Queen fan? And it's a, it's a, how did you get into that? Oh, just, just one song, Radio Gaga, and ever since then, 12 years, I've been a Because that was a long time ago, wasn't it? Very and what was it, one of those instant things you heard it? Pretty much so, yeah. On top of the pops. And would you like to sing the entire song for us now? <laughs> Not great. I'll, I'll, patchy and on these lights, the words go. Yeah, I good. I was hoping you wouldn't. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> good show for Matt. Right. Okay. Which means it's time for the first game. <laughs> words with our computer is going to come up with four hidden words. Our contestants then have 45 seconds to make the longest chain possible by changing one letter at a time. Every time they do it successfully, I'll give them five pounds. Do you remember, though, contestants? Every word must be in Chambers' English Dictionary. You're not allowed to land on the same letter twice in a row, and you're not allowed plurals or proper nouns. What I want you to do is to say the letter, say the word, and in a nice, clear voice, spell the word. Barry, you get to go first. Okay. You've got a choice of one, two, three, or four. Choose your lucky number. Okay, number four, please. Number four, and your word is skip, S-K-I-P. You have 45 seconds, and your time begins right now. Right, change the P to an N to make skin, S-K-I-N. Change the K to a P to make spin, S-P-I-N. Change the I to an A to make span, S-P-A-N. Change the N to an R to make spar, S-P-A-R. 
Change the P to a C to make SCAR, S-C-A-R. Change the R to an N to make SCAN, S-C-A-N. Um, change the C to an E to make SEAN, S-E-A-N. Change the S to a B to make BEAN, B-E-A-N. Change the N to a T to make BEAT, B-E-A-T. Change the B to a T to make TEAT, T-E-A-T. Change the <coughs> second T to an M to make TEAM, T-E-A-M. Change the T to an R to make REAM, R-E-A-M. Change the M to a P to make REAP, R-E-A-P. Yes, well! <laughs> Twelve words! Sixty pounds! You can't tell you there's quizzes, can you? <laughs> well done, nice solid start. Yeah. Nicky, oh, I think you're up against it today, aren't you? Just Nicky, but never mind, you have 45 seconds, you'll do just as well, I know you will. Number one, number two, number three. Number one, please. Number one, and your word is easy. Oh. Well, we'll see about that. E-A-S-Y, you have 45 seconds, your time begins now. Change the Y to a T to make East, E-A-S-T. Change the E to an L to make Last, L-A-S-T. Change the A to an I to make List, L-I-S-T. Change the... Uh... <laughs> oh dear. Change the I to an O. No, I can't <coughs> I'll sing now. <laughs> Change the L to an F to make fifth, F-I-S-T. Change the A I to an A to make fast, F-A-I-S-T. Five words, 25 pounds. <laughs> what happens is Barry is just sucking all that knowledge away from you. That's what it is, he's standing next to you. Matt, let's see how you do. You have number two or number three, which one would you like? Give three a go. Go number three. Your word is rust, are you ST? Hope you're not too rusty on this one. You have 45 seconds, your time begins now. I'll change the R to an M to make must, M-U-R-M-U-S-T. I'll change the U to an I to make mist, uh, M-I-S-T. I'll change the M to, to an F to make fist, F-I-S-T. I'll change the I to an A to make fast, F-A-S-T. I'll change the F to a M to make mast, A M A S T. I'll change the T to a K to make mask, M A S K. I'll change the I'll change the M to a C to make cask, C A S K. Change the uh, seven words, thirty-five pounds. Which means to score at the end of that round, Nikki, third position, £25. Just behind there is Matt with £35. But no surprise at the moment, because our quiz master himself, <laughs> Barry, is in the lead with £60. <laughs> so, Barry, are you feeling confident? <laughs> no. <laughs> Good, because you get go to go wrong. first in this round. <laughs> this is the booby trap round. If you look ahead, you can see four words. Load, maze, boom and pink. I'd like you to choose one of them. Maze. Gonna go for maze. M A Z E. What I'd like you to do now, Barry, is to choose one of the letters in the word that you're gonna change and you're gonna make a new word. If you do that successfully, I'll give you ten pounds. Which letter would you like to go for? The Z, please. You're gonna go for the Z. Nikki, Matt, this is your chance to catch up on Barry. You're gonna steal that word from his mind, you're gonna write it down, you have ten seconds in which to do so, and your time begins now. Yes, OK, Mr Quiz, Barry, <laughs> for £10, your new word is going to be... Change the Z to a C to make mace. <laughs> <laughs> Our student took it away from you. Matt has just stolen your money from you. Are you OK about that? Yeah, no problem. OK. <laughs> that means he's going to get revenge on you, Matt. Matt, it's your turn. Three words left. Which one would you like to go for? I think I'm going to go for... Pink. P-I-N-K. As I said before, you're going to have to change one of the letters. Choose a letter which gives you the most flexibility. Change the P, please. Change the initial P. Nikki, you know what you have to do. Barry, this is your chance for revenge. You both have ten seconds, and your time begins now. OK, Matt, your new word is going to be... Kink. K-I-N-K. You just got yourself ten pounds. 
Now, Matt, you're studying to be an accountant. Now, you've got £10. It's in the bank. It's going to get a bit of interest over the, the next 26 years or so. Or you can gamble. As an accountant, what would you like to do? I'm feeling frisky, so I think I'm going to try again. <laughs> Good. You're going to be the accountant I choose, definitely. <laughs> OK, for £20, your second word is going to be... A suicidal link. And, in fact, it was, and you got yourself £20. <laughs> Now, you know most accountants would just take it easy now, but what are you going to do? Oh, no. I'm going to go again, please. <laughs> yes, a new breed of accountancy <laughs> hits the country. Here we go. Your third word is going to be... Sink. You just got yourself yeah. £30. Pounds. <laughs> but, of course, as presenter, I get 12.5% of it. <laughs> so, there you go. Uh, two words left. Nikki, load or boom, which one would you like to have? Boom, please. Go for boom, and you're going to have to change one of the letters. Which one would you like to go for? Uh, the B. The please. initial B. Matt, Barry, you know what you have to do. Read Nikki's mind. Steal that knowledge. You have ten seconds. Your time begins now. Nikki, the boys have written down their words. You're going to come up with a really interesting one. What's it going to be for £10? Change the B to a D to make doom. Doom. And you just got yourself £10. <laughs> now, Nikki, what are you going to do? You're behind at the moment. You're in third position. You can gamble or you can stay where you are. I'm going to gamble. You're going to gamble for £20. For £20, <laughs> your second word is going to be... Change the D to an L to make blue. Are you ashamed of yourself, Barry? <laughs> apologise, apologise. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> OK, Barry stole your money, which means at the end of that round, let's have a look at those scores. Poor Nicky, £25. Oh. <laughs> Poor Matt, £75. Oh. He's an accountant, don't worry about it. But in the lead at the moment, £80 is Barry. <laughs> What's going to happen in the second half? Is poor Nicky going to catch up to the boys? Will Matt make even more money? Or will Bally succeed in playing Super Chain for £1,000? There's only one way to find out. Make a cup of tea. See you soon. Bye. Welcome back to the show. I've just been chatting to Barry because Barry does, does quizzes and stuff. And uh, now you've been on Chain Letters, how do you feel about it? How do you rate it? Oh, it's excellent. And uh, presenter? Smashing. Good. Yeah. Well, you'd be winning a lot more money <laughs> next few minutes. <laughs> it's time now to play Add a Letter. What we do is give our contestants a three-letter word. They have to add a letter to make a four-letter word. If they do it successfully, I'll give them five pounds. If they can add another letter to make a five-letter word, I'll give them another five pounds. Every time they add a letter, I'll give you more money. You can put your letter anywhere at the start of the finish in the middle of the word. Same rules apply. Word's got to be in Chambers, English Dictionary, etc., etc. We're going to start off with you, Barry, because you've got the most money at the moment. Your three-letter word coming up now just happens to be RY. W-R-Y. And your time begins now. Uh, place an A between the W and the R to make wary. And true indeed. Five pounds. Um, place an E between the W and the A to make weary. That goes up to ten pounds. <laughs> right, <clears throat> complete guess. Place an A at the front to make a weary. Ooh, let's see what happens. <laughs> you got it. Fifteen pounds. Nice guess. And anything else would just be sheer panic. Yes, <laughs> I okay. think that's it. Any X's or Y's? <laughs> no, I always suggest for you. Good that's round. It. Fifteen pounds for you. Okay, Matt. Your three-letter word coming up now. M O T, Mott, Mott for Matt. And your time begins now. Could I put an S in front of the T to make most? M O S T, yes, you got it. Five pounds. Could I try an I uh, to make moist? Ooh, you can, I would say. Ten pounds. Right. <laughs> Could I try um, monist, please? M O N I S T. Well, let's see what happens. Yes, you can. Fifteen pounds. Can, can I stick a Y on the end? Well, there's only one way to find out. <coughs> oh, well, obviously well, not. There, so no, it's there. Never mind, you got yourself fifteen pounds. Good. 
Modest being a Greek word, meaning single or alone. Okay, Nikki, you okay? You're smiling brightly there. Oh, yeah. Your three-letter word coming up, I'm sure you'll be smiling once you've answered it. B-I-D, bid. And your time begins now. I'll put an uh, E at the end, please, to make bide. B-I-D, E, you got yourself five pounds. A R after B to make bride. B R I D. -E. Ten pounds. Put a G in uh, between D and E to make bridge. Oh, of course. Very clever. Fifteen pounds. Can I put an A at the beginning? We'll see what a happens. Bridge. You can indeed. Excellent. A bridge. Well done. And obviously nothing else. <laughs> no. Which means the scores at the end of that round. Let's have a quick look. With £45 in third position is Nikki. In second position with £90 is Matt. But leading with just £5 in front. Ladies and gentlemen, Barry. <laughs> Which means, of course, it's time for Ty the Leader. One of our contestants will go forward to play Super Chain for £1,000. Which obviously they'll split with their presenter. Okay. <laughs> Wordsworth, give me a five-letter word, please. There we go, Quill. Q U I double L. Give me a plus. And give me a minus. And away with you, Wordsworth. Okay, what's going to happen now? Wordsworth will travel. He'll land on a letter. I want you to change the letter and make a new word. Also, we'll be told what the word is worth. It's either going to be £10, £20, £30, or if you're extremely lucky, tie the leader, in which case you match your score to whoever's in the lead at that particular moment. Now, it's obviously quite close between Barry and Matt, 95 to 90. And Nikki, you've got a chance to get tied to leader. You'll be up there. OK, fingers on buzzers. This is an open round. Reflexes matter. And for some strange reason, smiles matter as well. I don't know why. <laughs> Here we go. The WI will have it all stitched up. This time, it's Nikki for £20. Change the L to a T to make quilt. Q-U-I-L-T. And you've just stitched it up yourself. You may need to shout to get it. This time it's Matt to tie the lead with Barry. E. Change the L to an E to make quiet. Spell it, please. Oh, Q-U-I-E-T. That's the one. You've got it. 95 each. You need a mouse to click on it. You need a mouse to click on it. This time it's Matt for £20. Did you move the E to make quit? Uh, if you spell it, we'll Q find Q U I T. Out. You do indeed. You got yourself the money. You take the lead. As I said, do remember to spell the word as well as saying it. The measure of Mary's contrariness. The measure of Mary's. This time it's math for thirty pounds. Quite. Q U I T E. Mary, Mary, quite contrary. You take the money. The math goes into the lead. Freddie Mercury would be proud of you. Certainly would. It's in pieces in the front room. This time it's Barry for thirty pounds. No, sorry, no. Nikki, Matt. This time it's Matt for thirty pounds. Sweet, S U I T E. That's the one. Take the money. Go into the lead. One hundred and seventy-five pounds. Do it to your face by cutting your nose off. This time it's Matt for ten pounds. Spite, S P I T E. Take the money, Matt. Go even further into the lead. It turns and starts to rain. This time it's Matt very fast on the buzzer for £10. Move the E to make spit. S-P-I-T. Matt, you're having a brilliant round. 195. A keen follower of the leading lady. A keen follower of the leading lady. This time it's Matt for £10. Is it spot? S-P-O-T. Matt, it is indeed spot. You got your money. 205. 95 to 65. It may follow a... Good day in Australia. This time it's Barry for £30. Uh, place, I don't know, to make sport. S-P-O-R-T. Good day, sport. That's the one. It should always be passed to the left. This time it's Barry for £30. Catching up. Remove the S to make port. P-O-R-T. That's the one. Well done. <laughs> the last one means time for bed. This time it's Matt to tie the lead. Oh, so I lost it. Nikki, Barry. 
The last one means time for bed. I'll give you the answer. The answer is post. The last post. <coughs> Only effective if you make a profit. The buzz is gone, which means I look at the scores at this precise moment with 65 pounds in third position is Nicky. A brilliant round by Barry, but not good enough. 155 in second position. But with 205 pounds, today's winner is Matt. <laughs> Brilliant. Nikki, honey. Hi. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> you did. Well, how do you feel about playing the game? Were you a bit nervous, but you feel good now? I feel nervous. I'd like to do it again, though. <laughs> okay, we'll just start all over. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Nikki. <laughs> Barry, Barry, you did, you did so well. You started off well. Second round was good. And just the last round, this man over there picked you to the post. What's it like actually doing a TV so, game uh, show? Excellent. Is it? Yeah. Is, you'd like to do it again? Well, it's well worth recommending to everybody. Good, okay. Yeah. Well, speak about us wisely in the pub. Will do. do well. Ladies and gentlemen, big sport, Barry. <laughs> Which means, of course, £205 to start off with. And the man who's going to go on to play Super Chain for £1,000. Are you nervous? Certainly am, yeah. Okay, nervous. well, let's go and do it. Ladies and gentlemen, Matt. <laughs> You're okay? I'll stay as close as possible, man. Super Chain. Concentrate as much as possible. This is Super Chain. What's going to happen, Wordsworth is going to give you a four-letter word. Every time you land on a letter, I want you to change it and make a new word. Every time you do it successfully, we'll give you £50. If you get ten new words in 60 seconds, you get £1,000 in cash. And as an accountant, you know what that means. It's very important, if you don't know what to do, just say the word pass and we'll move on. Your time begins when Wordsworth lands on the first letter. Okay. Wordsworth, can I have the word, please? Your word is sane. Interesting word. S-A-N-E. As I said, any problems whatsoever, just say the word pass. Mm. Just stand there and focus as much as possible. Okay. All I can do at this point is wish you the very best of luck. Gotcha. Stay there. Okay, Wordsworth, are we ready? Uh, let's go. Pass. Pass again. Change the S to a B to make Bane. Change the A to an I to make Bine. Change the E to a E to make bend. Change the N to a T to make bite. Change the I to an A to make bait. Change the pass. Pass. Change the A to an I. To make bite. Pass. Uh, change the E to an H to make bath. Change the B to an L to make lathe. Ooh, a very tough one indeed. Never mind, you got yourself six reds, you got 300 pounds. If you turn around behind, we're going to have your score of 205 on and see just how much money we're going to give to you. £505. As an accountant, I'm sure you'll invest it wisely, won't you? Thank you very much. Okay, wait. Well done. Nice one. You did well. £505 to take home and put in the bank or whatever. So we'll see you all tomorrow. Thanks again. Bye.